hey love so i'm here to do a reading for everybody it is going to be a general reading all signs all house placements so if the messages here are resonating then of course take them uh if you're new here and you enjoy the reading don't forget to like share and subscribe if you want to join us for new content all right guys let's get into the reading take the messages that resonate leave the ones that don't all right guys the fool <laughs> Okay, now let's see. Fresh new energy, something here. Trust your intuition. Let's see here. More messages for the collective. Clear vision. More messages. What was this? I wanted to come out. The middle way, uh, the line between two extremes and rebirth. Yeah. Um, a lot of you are going on to do a new thing, and that is for sure. Um, some of y'all just simply need to start speaking up for yourselves, okay? Um, you are a messenger. Speak your truth came out in the reverse in earth. Yeah, so a lot of you have, may not have been speaking your truth. You may not have been saying what you want to say. You may have had a listening ear for quite some time. But you're not speaking up in a particular situation. Tell me more about clear vision. The middle way. Yeah. So why do I feel like a lot of you, you may go from being the one who was always quiet or... To the one who actually is speaking out, speaking, saying what you think, how you feel about things, okay? Yeah, doing this with some sort of passion. That fire, let's see. Tell me more about the full new direction. A lot of you choosing to go do a new thing. You could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, strong Aries here, okay? Scorpio energy as well. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, all right? What is this new direction? Single. Some of you may start off something new alone and then wind up with someone who is with you in some sort of way. I don't know if this is romantic partnership. It could possibly be. But it makes me feel like when you start this new passionate beginning, you could be doing it alone. Where later someone else comes in, okay? Someone could be possibly meeting you halfway in this decision. All right, but let's see here. Wait a minute, let me silence this. Oh, okay. Spiritual partnership. There it is. <laughs> there it is, y'all, in the chariot. So, yeah, this is definitely about future endeavors. You starting something by yourself. You're passionate. You've got a lot of drive behind it. And now you have someone who's coming in to partner up with you. All right. So, tell me more about the single and new direction for cancer. Two of Cups. What? I said for cancer. I'm sorry for all signs, y'all. <laughs> the chariot here because, yeah, now we have cancer energy out here. All right, y'all. The star is at the bottom of the deck. You could be an Aquarius or you could be partnering up with any of these signs. Okay. Tell me more about this Two of Cups. You may have thought that you were going off to do something alone. No, you have a partner with you. Tell me more about this Two of Cups. The tower is in the reverse, y'all. Oh, yeah, this is something that in this Capricorn. So, yeah, a lot of earth energy here. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius. Don't focus on monetary issues. Focus on spirit. I'm telling you, there's. I feel like a lot of people in strength down here in the world, the hair fit. A lot of people are going to be coming into a lot of divine unions, I feel like, are going to take place. There's a lot of healing. There's a lot of healing relationships that are going to be coming together as we move on into spring and into summer and, and for years to come, okay? There is a lot of healing, fair, balanced relationships that's going to come in. So if you are closing out a cycle and you're starting doing something new, okay? If you have decided to end something, to 
go on a new adventure, some of you starting this adventure alone, you have someone who comes along. There's an instant connection there, okay? This is somebody who's meant to go on this path with you, on this journey with you, all right? Yeah, um, this is like everlasting. Tell me more about you. Sagittarius and Gemini. The Six of Wands. Like, you may have the drive and this person may have the brains. And not to say you don't have the brains, but I'm just saying. Each of you bring an important aspect to the table, okay? And this looks really good. It's overall, the energy here is good. It's refreshing, y'all. Um, it's noticeable. I feel like people notice the change. They see happiness. Let's see here. I'm going to take a look at this chariot and this uh, spiritual partnership and tell you what that's about. Okay. I said, look, I trust your intuition and rebirth. So I will. Let's see here. And we'll leave the fool out. And we'll look at these individually. Messages for cancer. The chariot, the ten of pentacles. You're headed to something that is a good foundation. That's why that tower came out in the reverse. You're taking initiative to take some sort of leap of faith, to make some sort of move on this adventure. During this endeavor, you have someone. I feel like I, they're just giving me a vision of you picking someone up off the side of the road. You know what I mean? Like a hitchhiker almost. <laughs> y'all headed to the same destination and y'all make a great partners. Like, you know, y'all make great partners together. Tell me more about spiritual partnership. The Seven of Pentacles and the Empress. This is a partnership where you can grow versus a partnership where things people take. This is a partnership that's forever giving, okay? So it's like it's never an imbalance. It will never feel imbalanced. So that's really good. Strength is at the bottom of the day. The high priestess and the eight of pentacles. Yeah. Like I feel like you each look at each other and you, you are encouraged by one another, right? Tell me more about rebirth for the collective. Seven of cups. The nine of swords. You're coming out of, out of worry. If you've been some in, in, a, in a space of worry and confusion, concern, you're coming out of that. You're coming out of this worry, concern, and confusion on the other side, all right? Um, you're gaining clarity. You're understanding why things had to happen a particular kind of way, why certain things were allowed to play out in your life that you may not have considered to be fair, all right? Tell me more about uh, trust your intuition. Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups. This is blessings. More overall, though, y'all, this feels like love, love. Yeah, like you're gaining, you're gaining insight on why something is so difficult, or why things had to be difficult or were difficult. Okay, um. And you know why? For a lot of you, you're changing the way you make decisions. We have the Eight of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Seven of Wands fall out with a Six of Wands. Because you are changing the way that you make decisions. You're changing the way that you move forward. You're changing what you will and won't accept here. Very fiery energy here, Leo Sagittarius. Aries, all right? Because you're changing this, you have a really good outcome. There is a new start that is taking place, all right? You may have thought that you were having a new start. Guess what? 
No, that wasn't it. It ended and that wasn't it. Not for all of you, but for some of you. That's because you were meant to go this way, not that way. <laughs> What's this like? The Six of Swords, yeah. This new start appears to be going very smoothly. Tell me more. The star. This looks good, y'all. This is leading to like your hopes, dreams, aspirations. This, this connection is beautiful, though. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. The chariot. Yeah. And the world. The Two of Cups. And the hermit. You and this person share a lot of privacy and intimacy. You share a lot of ideas with one another, okay? The page of swords here. The five of wands. There's a lot of jealousy. There's going to be a lot of jealousy surrounding this, y'all. Hmm. There's a lot of jealousy that's going to be surrounding this situation that you meant. Like, this person that you meet. Both of you getting um, an upgrade. For some of you, let me tell you something better. Even better than that. For some of you, this may not even be a physical flesh person. Some of you are the, connecting with your Orishas and your ancestors and your spirit guides, your angel guides. A closer connection to God is causing you to have an upgrade in life. Okay? For some of you, it's going to be a closer spiritual connection that doesn't involve another physical entity. Okay? But... Well, someone here in a 3D, 5D, whatever. This is going to be divine union. With your angel guides, your ancestors, becoming more grounded in that area versus a relationship, okay? And although I do feel like for plenty of you, you could have both of these going on, duality there, okay? So you may be meeting... Someone you have a soul connection with, a soul contract with, even. The Ace of Swords. That you're walking in your true purses, purpose. This leap of faith is causing you to walk in your, in your purpose. The Will of Fortune, the Knight of Pentacles, and Judgment. It, take, it took a long time, and it's only because some of you made some faulty decisions. You made the wrong decision in some areas that did cause a delay. But now we see where you're moving forward, right? Tell me more about the chariot and the ten of pentacles. Page of wands. For some of you, this is simply confirmation for something that you've already tried to manifest via petition or some sort of manifestation work. All right, y'all. And you've been you've been debating if it was going to take place. Here it is. Loves, this is where I'm leaving this reading off at. If the messages here resonated, if you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, baby dolls. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.